Derivatives. Now, derivatives are commonly thought of as being quite scary. Okay. Now, what comes to mind first of all when we talk about derivatives is you're probably thinking about calculus. Well, we're not exactly talking about calculus here. We're talking about financial derivatives, which are not the same thing as calculus derivatives. Okay. So we're not going to actually be doing any calculus here. So have no fear. Okay. So these derivatives we're talking about they are financial derivatives. And the reason we use the word derivative is that we are talking about these things that are derived from the others, right? So we have these instruments basically derive their value from an underlying asset. Okay? So that's essentially what we're saying is that a derivative is one in which it derives its, its value from an underlying asset. Now, financial derivatives we talk about are kind of scary and they're really intimidating for students right off the bat, but they really shouldn't be, okay? They are actually really neat. The math behind them and what we're showing here is actually pretty straightforward, okay? They're, you don't even, it's very easy math, okay? They're conceptually, they might have a little bit of difficulty, but once you break through that wall, man, derivatives are some of the coolest things out there, okay? so. We're talking about that is that I'm introducing these these derivatives and there's four different types that we're going to be talking about in depth. The first of which are going to be forwards. Okay? And forwards are basically we look into the future, right? And we we enter into an agreement with someone else saying that we will make an exchange happen in the future, right? We will make an exchange 6 months from now. That is an example of a forward forwards themselves are over-the-counter transactions, okay? Now, um, we're going to go into more detail on what these are later, um, but we're just going to introduce the basic terms here. We also have futures, okay? And futures are very similar to forwards, except our future is going to be exchange traded, okay? So they are going to be standardized, they are going to be on a market, and you're going to be able to, to look at their prices whenever you want. A future and a forward are very similar. They, they accomplish the same objective. Just a forward has a little more flexibility because it's just a transaction made between me and you or broker A, broker B, etc. Okay. The other ones we're going to have are going to be options. Options are most commonly known as being stock options, right? They, they're, uh, they're given to uh, executives and companies, they exercise their stock options if the price goes above a certain point. Um, we're going to go into an evaluation of these and then look into a foreign exchange uh, relationship. And the last one are going to be swaps. Okay, And there are two different types of swaps that are used commonly. The first of which is an interest rate swap. Basically where we, where we take two payments on, on either side and then we swap them. I know that that's not a great explanation right now, but we'll, we'll get into there. Um, but we swap them and basically what we can do is we have a fixed exchange rate and a floating exchange rate and it helps intermediate between uh, market participants in order to get them the better rates. And then there are also currency swaps. Okay, These are the two largest types of swaps. Okay, So this is just a, a slight introduction into these about what kind of derivatives we're going to be looking at. Now, have no fear. They're really not all that complicated. Um, the math is, is simple, and uh, we're going to be jumping right into it.